wow. Just wow. And when you think the police can't stoop any lower than a snake's belly, one crops up to prove you wrong. A woman who was raped at knife point 24 years ago is taking Greater Manchester Police to court with a lawsuit for their failure to bring the suspect to justice. Susan, not her real name, underwent an examination at the St Mary's Sexual Assault Referral Centre in Manchester and forensic evidence was gathered immediately after the assault almost two and a half decades ago but alleges that she was told by police that her case would not be taken further because they had taken the case to the Crown Prosecution Service who stated that because she had engaged in sex previously, they would not be willing to investigate further. The investigating officer informed Susan that this would make the rape more difficult to prove. Irving's Law, who have taken on Susan's case, alleged that Greater Manchester Police breached Article 3 of the Human Rights Act 1988 and misfeasance in public office. They have submitted the claim to Chief Constable Stephen Watson. Now the term misfeasance in public office refers to a form of misconduct and it occurs when a public official, public servant or public body knowingly and willingly acts to cause loss or harm to a third party or where they have behaved recklessly or indifferently, in other words, not given a flying fuck. The lawsuit also claims that the suspect admitted to having sex with her, but argued that the sex was consensual. Therefore, Irving's law say that the officers took that into consideration when deciding to close the case before investigating it. Olivia Kilgallen of Irving's law said in the lawsuit that the investigating officer formed the, informed the claimant that the best thing she could do would be to leave it alone and get on with her life. As a young child, she was incredibly distressed by the thought she could not obtain justice for what had happened to her, but thought there was nothing more that could be done because the police were telling her she could not do anything. She immediately took herself into the bathroom where she locked herself in and cried. Susan struggled to get on with her life and suffered depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts and made multiple attempts on her own life. Susan tried her best to get on with her life, but unfortunately became part of a relationship where she suffered domestic violence for many years. Upon coming out of this relationship, she began to realise how much she had suffered in her life as a result of the rape, the inability to obtain justice and domestic violence. She also read about similar rapes to her own where young girls had been raped by Asian men. Ms Kilgallon referenced a response to a complaint made by Susan dated 29th of December last year, which noted multiple errors, including failures to keep paperwork, records of arrests, failures to retain victim samples and other failures. The response to her complaint went on to say that I believe the officers who dealt with you and your allegation of rape failed to act in a reasonable and proportionate manner. Had those officers still been serving with Greater Manchester Police, then consideration would have been given to misconduct proceedings against them. What do you fucking do? Olivia Kilgallen's lawsuit claims that the claimant believes from the information given to her by your officers that the suspect is now in prison for a string of sexual assaults and rapes which occurred after her rape in 1998. In support of the misfeasance claim, the law firm's catalogue of allegations are as follows. Failure to investigate. Failure to retain paperwork. Failure to retain statements or other evidence demonstrating how the suspect was identified and subsequently eliminated. A failure to organise an identity parade or any identification process despite the fact the claimant had given a description of the suspect. Failure to, failure to keep a record of arrest and or interview of the suspect. Failure to retain forensic samples. Failure to retain exhibits such as victim samples, interviews. Failure to keep a file in general in respect of rape. Failure to present the substantial evidence gathered to the CPS. A spokesperson for Greater Manchester Police said we can confirm that we have received notification of a claim in relation to this case. It would be inappropriate to comment further at this time. Now I can't imagine what it must be like to be told by a copper not to bother following the procedures laid out and honed over centuries in order to have a perpetrator of crime brought to, just, to justice for such a serious offence. I have been told many times myself that police simply won't bother investigating claims that I've made, even blaming me 
for their lack of action, but those were far lesser infractions compared to being sexually assaulted. I hope, as I'm sure we all do, that Susan, not her real name, manages to take Greater Manchester Police to, to task for this complete and utter failure.